Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a step back, you know, or take a break and explain this uh, polynomial commitment scheme uh, construction. And the, the whole idea of a polynomial commitment scheme is that you can commit to a polynomial. Imagine that you have a polynomial f, which is, you know, uh, f0 plus f1x plus f2x squared and etc., right, where f, this f, i's are coefficients, then you can commit to that polynomial, uh, you know, come f, let's call that, um, I don't know, f tilde. You can commit to that polynomial, and after if someone asks you to, you know, you can publish that commitment, and, uh, and after if someone asks you to evaluate that polynomial at some point, you'll be able to uh, do an opening, we call that an opening but I don't really like that term, so I'm gonna call that uh, an evaluation proof because I think it makes more sense. It's uh, people call that opening because usually when when you talk about commitment, you commit to something and, and you open it, you reveal what's under the commitment. But here we're actually not revealing f; we're, in, we're instead evaluating f at some at some uh, point that someone requested. So an evaluation proof is. Oops, you give me, um, you know, a z, and I give you, I give you f of z, and also give you a proof, which is, um, which ties this evaluation with the commitment, and you can verify that indeed this is f of z. There is no trickery; uh, it is what it is. So there, there's different polynomial commitment schemes that you can use to do that, um, and one. The one that Plonk used in, uh, in the Plonk paper is the Kate, um, Kate uh, Polynomial Commitment Scheme, or I think they abbreviated KGZ, I believe, in the paper um, from the three authors of the original paper. And this is a scheme that pretty much requires you to have a trusted setup, so Kate, uh, you know, PCS requires trusted setup. Um, and let me explain what's a trusted setup. It's something that's uh, quite popular or you know unpopular in uh, ZK snarks but pretty or other um, zero knowledge proof systems. but basically it says that at some point in the beginning you have to set up a set of uh, parameters you know you generate a set of parameters. But one, but it's difficult to do that. You, you need to trust uh, a third party to do that for you because if they do it incorrectly, it completely breaks the protocol. Uh, pretty much, they'll be able to create fake proofs. So you have to trust them to delete, you know, like the secret stuff that was used. Um, Zcash actually called that the toxic waste. The toxic waste that was used for the generation of these parameters, and after that, you can you can. Uh, Commit on uh, poly polynomials and, and and all of that using this this um, um, the the parameters that were created and usually the parameters uh, are called um, in zero knowledge proof systems are called common reference string it's not really a string I don't know why it's called like that CRS um, sometimes because it's not really random but it's actually something we constructed you don't say common you say structured I don't think that matters too much. Some people might, might care uh, more than me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. And the reason why there's a trusted setup is that you need to you need to generate a bunch of points on a curve, an elliptic curve. Although it could be, I guess, uh, any group. But here we'll use elliptic curves because this is what people use the most when they when they instantiate these these schemes. You need to generate a, a bunch of points, um, and these points need to uh, the discrete logarithm of these points needs needs to remain secret. Um, but you need to know the discrete logarithm when you generate them. So so I'll explain how Kate, the Kate polynomial commitment scheme works in the next video. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of introduce polynomial commitment scheme in this video, and, and mention that Kate uh, is a is the one that Plonk uses, and it requires a trusted setup, uh, so it's it's a bit annoying. The other thing I wanted to mention is also that Kate is a pairing-based 
so so they use pairing so it's a pairing based uh, polynomial commitment scheme and it means that you have to deal with pairings which might be a bit annoying but it creates for very very short uh, proofs interestingly in uh, mina in the mina cryptocurrency uh, and also in halo um, which i believe is what zcash is going to to use at some point in the future um, Plonk is instantiated not with uh, the Cate polynomial commitment scheme, but with something uh, another commitment scheme based on the inner product, which is just how to multiply two vectors together. And I'm not going to explain that here. Maybe I'll explain that in a future video. But um, this uh, inner product based um, PCS that's uh, that's actually called uh, bullet. Uh, sorry, bulletproof type, or or some some people call them bulletproof type of uh, PCS, you know, because because they're they're not exactly they're they're evolutions of of uh, the bulletproof paper and the bulletproof paper. Um, the interesting thing with these PCS is that you don't need a trusted setup, and so you can. Um, you, you don't need a third to trust a third party and, and, and it, it's actually pretty cool. But but the proofs are, are bigger in size and so you, you have some sort of trade-off uh, there. So I won't explain this one, although if people want me to explain it, I'll explain it in a future video. Uh, I could do that. But instead I'll explain this one, which is the one that's in uh, the Plunk paper. And so if people are trying to read the paper and understand it, it might be easier to, to, uh, to get a, an explanation of that one. But you know, Plonk is kind of PCS agnostic, polynomial commitment scheme agnostic, and you can use different polynomial commitment scheme to uh, instantiate the protocol. Um, 